Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Fshake Excel Master, and I'm your friend for Fshake. And today we are going to understand about comparison operators in Excel. What are comparison operators and why it is important? Well, the comparison operator, the name itself says out, it is comparing the two values in a formula and the result of that comparison can be either true or false. As you develop more and more complex Excel workbooks, you will find yourself relying on more and more comparison operators. And these are the list of the comparison operators which you will be using in our daily Excel formulas. And with the help of these operators, you can get your logical value as true or false. So let us quickly jump in our example and see how can we get the logical value as true or false. So I want to make it very simple to you, my friends. We are going to compare two columns, column A and column B. And we are going to get the result as true or false by using their operators. So we are going to start with the formula. So our formula always starts with equal to signs, open the brackets, and we are going to compare the value of cell A is equal to cell B. So if it is equal, then it should return the value as true. Excellent. So if it is not equal, it will return the value as false. So in this case, it is okay, it's true. Now let us look, the greater than sign is equal to, bracket open, cell A is greater than cell B, no, it is equal, similar way the next one is equal to, open brackets, cell A is less than cell B, false, because again it's equal to, and here, make it again 2 where the logic is saying that a9 is less than b9 that's true the value of a9 is less than b9 so we we'll put it back to the original value so this is very interesting my friends we're going to write the formula equals to back it open the value in the cell a is greater than or equal to the value in the cell B. So once the value is greater than or equal to what is the value in cell B, then the logical test should return the value as true, which is correct. So let me change the value over here. In the cell 10, it is 10, but now to make it true, either I have to make this as 10 or I need to make it as 11. Great, isn't it easy, my friends? Now let us quickly jump to another one. Bracket open. Cell A should be less than or equal to cell B. That's true. So if I put it zero over here, in this case, it is making false because the value in the cell A is less than B. So let's make it again. Two, if you make it two, it's still a very true. Wow, we are done with the five operators. Now we have one to go, which is a very interesting operator. And how are we going to use the operator? We are going to just say equals to the value of cell A not equal to the value of cell B. So if the value of cell A is not equal to value of cell B, then it should give me false. So in this case, if I need to make this value result as true, I need to change the value in the cell B. Excellent. Again, and again. So isn't it great, my friends? Well, I have also made another video where it's a simple trick how to remember the signs less than and greater than, and you can just click on this above video and it will direct you so I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest update. And I'll be keep posting more further videos on Excel. Signing off for the day, your friend Rashid from FShape Excel Master.